Do y'all remember that commercial from the 80s? Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. Well, scratch that. Don't hate me because of... Cabinet space. Supply closet tree. Yes, that's a word. And shelving for days. Now the problem with having all of that storage space is that it just gives me the opportunity to accumulate more stuff. So now that it's the end of the year and I'm trying to go through stuff and figure out what to keep and what to get rid of, I thought we could chat about that today in a little episode that I would like to call Hoard It or Hurl It. I was going to call it uh, take it or toss it, but I did do my student teaching in Ireland and toss it means something entirely different over there. So Google it if you need to know. So for this episode of Art Teacher in 101, let's talk about what to hoard and what to hurl. So thing number one that I'd like to address are toilet paper tubes. Now, not all toilet paper tubes and paper towel tubes are created equally. If they're the homegrown variety, meaning the ones you get from your house, I say find a nice recycling bin for those because the quality of those tubes is pretty thin. For me, I have found that they don't make for the best sculptures. Now, the paper towel tubes that are sent from heaven, art teacher in heaven above, are the ones that the custodians have. Those appear to be industrial strength and they work fabulously. So I hoard those, but I hurl the rest. In desperate times, I give, send out a school-wide email for those other tubes in case we need them. So, tubes, hurl them. That's what I say. Now, when it comes to caps, let's particularly talk about bottle caps. I know we had that craze where everybody was doing a bottle cap mural, and trust me, I think they are beautiful, but you need to decide as an art teacher, is bottle cap muraling right for me? For me, the answer is no. I can't deal with organizing all those caps. That's just not my thing. Organization in particular is just not my bag, baby. So for when it comes to caps, I say hurl them. But that's just me. Y'all do your own thing. Now, let's talk about markers. Markers in particular that are not working so well anymore. I'm going to tell you to hoard these bad boys, and here's why. If you decap these dried out markers and you soak them in, oh goodness, I don't know what's growing on the end of that one, and you soak them in a little bit of cup of water, about a quarter inch, markers all being the same color, all the reds in one cup, all the oranges in another, leave them overnight and voila, you come back to school and you have a beautiful paint to paint with, a nice kind of watercolor wash. Now when you're finished, these guys will be completely drained of marker color, in which case you can actually recycle these. And these I like to hang on to because they make great stamps for printing and for clay. So for dried out markers, I say this one is a hoard. Another hoard is CDs. I do love me some CDs because they make great projects for weaving. There's also print making projects you can do on these as well as a couple of stained glass tricks I've seen on the YouTubes that I'm dying to try out. So CDs, I say hoard them. Now I know that there are tons of other things that you can either hoard or hurl. So I'd love to hear what those things are. But then I thought we could chat a little bit about those odd miscellaneous items that we get. What do we do with those? So I peeked inside one of my closets just to see what I could grab to share with you. One thing that I do hoard that I usually get a nice big bag of are packing peanuts. I love packing peanuts. They make excellent items for sculpture, especially with my little ones. Throw a couple of pipe cleaners on the table and these bad boys and you have some sculpture making fun with the kindergarten set. So packing peanuts, that's a hoard. 
when it comes to things like tons and tons of fabric sample books, which I am the proud owner of, thank you very much. When they have a beautiful variety such as this, I say this is a hoard. So far, I've found a couple of uses for these and I have a feeling there's going to be many, many more. And like I said, I got the storage space, so why not? So, fabric samples, that's a hoard. Oh, you know what I just thought of? I could press clay into it and get great texture. The ideas just keep coming. Now, one odd item that I did receive is, if I can even pick it up, I think it's like a 25 pound bag full of um, Mardi Gras beads. I've been hanging on to them. They've been hoarded. I just can't quite figure out how do you disinfect a 25 pound bag of Mardi Gras beads. So for now, this is a questionable hoard, not one that I recommend, but one that you will find in my supply closet. So I'd love to hear what things you guys have and what you're hoarding and what you, as you clean out your art rooms, are hurling. Talk to you soon, guys.